Okay, bro. Okay, bro. So I know a lot of people have asked me how to get their seats to play in sequence on American TJ's My D Max. And in this video, I will show you how to do that. Now, if you see, I made four quick little scenes with the basic setup that I have. Now I know most of you figure, oh, okay, well, I got my seeds, I'll just hit play. Uh, nothing happens. Go to the user tab, just hit play. Nothing happens. You gotta select the seeds on your own, right? Well, if you want to change this, where it says loop, right here, you want to double click on that. You'll have each one do two loops. Like on here, you can, on here you can select always, always loop anywhere from, anywhere from one all the way to, 200 the way to 255 loops. But for, but for example, for this example, for this example we'll, we'll just do two loops. Two loops. Each one. Each one. And then there you go. Now, now all these will play, will play for two loops in sequence, in sequence and now we'll go over to next. You can pick. If you want to display the next scene in line, line. If you want to play the first scene, scene, second, second third, third, or fourth. You can use this, can to, use this to mix up the mix order up that the which your scenes play. Uh, for now, uh, we'll, for now we'll just do next, next for all these. Okay, so now, so now they're all triggered by, by next. Uh, if, you uh, want, if you want, you can also add a fade, add time, a fade for time for these. I'm moving, moving the window. Click on that scene. Click on that scene. Double click on the, fade, click time on the fade time section. Add a one second, add a one second fade. fade. Click on that scene. Click on that scene. Double click on the, fade, click time on the fade time section. Add another one second, add another one second fade. fade. With, With a... a Point twelve point second hold time. And, and all these, all these one are second one second default. by default. We change all, we change these, all these to a, a one second or er, point sixteen seconds hold time. There we go. There we Also, another useful tool is if you see over here, there's a dimmer option that will allow you to apply dimmer to all these channels. Or to anything that has a dimmer channel. So you see how you notice how the spots are still strobing because they don't have a dedicated 0 to 100% dimmer channel. The LEDs, the LEDs do. So you can do that, so you can do that throughout any of these seats here. Okay, so, so now we have all this, have all this set, up set up and ready to go. Each one will, Each play, one will play for, for two, loops. two loops. To go even to go further. Even further we can modify the fade time. Or modify the wait time. Pick it up on the longer scenes. And maybe for one of these, we'll just dimmer. Down to about 50%. So, or so, you know, 34, or whatever. <laughs> whatever works, right? Go back to the user back tab, to the user tab and, 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 and click on your first scene, hit play. Now, all 
your scenes, uh, all your scenes will play in the order that you chose for them to play, or in the order that they're arranged. Okay. Alright, and that's how you do that on my DMX.